Hello everybody, in this video we're just going to talk through vine weevils, how to control them, how to identify them from the grub stage through to adults. Hello, welcome to John Horsey Horticulture. We're here to help you develop your gardening skills, be it growing vegetables, taking cuttings, pruning and much, much more. So if you like learning those things, do follow us by pressing the subscribe button. There's no charge and don't forget to press that all important notification bell. It just lets you know every time we upload a new video. We had a, we had a, we had a pot with some succulents in which weren't doing well. Um, I have to admit they were given to us, so we should be more careful. But when I tipped them out, I thought there was no root on them. And then you look, and at the bottom, you see these little grubs with little orange heads. They are the larva of the vine weevil, and they've been eating the roots of my plants. They certainly aren't going to do any good uh, in, in, in the garden. Vine weevils really shot away with pot plants over the last 20 or 30 years. Um, and the real the chemicals we used to use, of course, are no longer allowed. Um, so we have to watch out for them, but make sure they don't survive. Each one of those, if it was left to pupate in, uh, in a couple of months, would turn into a beetle. And each beetle, uh, well, first of all, there's never been found a male beetle. <laughs> they're all females, and they're known to lay up to a thousand eggs. So you could have a lot of problems very quickly if you don't keep on top of them. Little white grubs in your compost. If you see those, please dispose of them as quickly as possible. The pupating grubs, while they're pupating in your soil over these winter months, they attack the roots um, of, you know, amongst other plants, primroses. They can attack strawberries, they attack the stem bases of your succulents, they attack the tubers of cyclamen, um, and they cause your plants to wilt and die. When they emerge as adults, the vine weevils, they spread around by crawling and climbing. They can't fly, but they can also, of course, be spread around by, you know, if I wanted to move one of my pots and it's infested, I'm, you know, I'm spreading them around the patio and in my garden. You can tell adults, um, they all possess a large snout or rostrum as it's called. Um, and an adult that senses danger displays a defense mechanism. It's called thanatosis. It folds up its appendages, it falls to the ground, and its colour camouflages it, um, and to avoid detection, and it, you know, they, it is they are difficult to spot. So the damage the adults cause, they eat notches out of the edges of leaves. Many herbaceous perennials, including your hostas and rhododendrons, and your raspberries, as well as your container plants, they're not safe at all. Well, how do we control these pests? We disposed of our grubs that we found in the compost um, by throwing them in our pond and nice tasty treats for the frogs and newts and toads in there. Also for the birds, they can pick them off as well. Um, hedgehogs and shrews and ground beetles are also natural grub predators too. The adults, they come out at night, so what John and I have been doing have been patrolling around our garden with our torchlight. Um, you can see the, the um, adults, they're on the foliage of your plants, so underneath um, and on top, so shake them off into a piece of newspaper to dispose of later. If you are thinking of uh, biological products, do buy ones that contain nematodes. These are very safe um, to be used on all edible and ornamental plants that you are growing. The thing to remember is that the grubs cause far more damage, so it's absolutely vital to eradicate the adults as much as you can at this time of year. Well, thank you very much for joining us in our Somerset garden. We very much enjoyed having you. If you'd like to learn more gardening tips, do consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to press the all-important notification bell. And if there are any topics you'd like us to cover, we'd be very interested to hear from you in the comments below. Until next time, thank you.